grab the ledge before your uppy is finished traveling. So, like, imagine Mario grabbing uh, the ledge halfway through his uppy. I don't think it does that in PM. Uh, it doesn't brawl in Smash 4, though. I think with certain um, specials, it doesn't in PM, but not all of them. Like, um, I think Lucario. Regardless, anyways, we're now on game we're talking about three. Four. Red team really cleaned it up game two, in my opinion. Uh, Daniels hit his edge guards, yeah. which is, was just crippling the Luigi team. Just yeah, them Luigi down. gets edge guarded hard, and it was it's a like lot of Mario time. without priority hitboxes. They were just both Luigi's were at the ledge again. Uh, I don't think they were choosing to be there a lot of time in game two. Ooh, nice slide off up B. I like that. And Pikachu was just walling them out with there. Just yeah, been on both of the ledge and off stage until they were dead. Um, Daniel's given this Pikachu and Luigi way too much respect. He should have just ran in with a back throw, honestly. Because <laughs> he would have killed that percent. Oh my god. That was a smart mix team. I thought he just like re thought he, he missed the jump, jump fireball. I thought he had a jump that he didn't, and he went hella deep and almost made it back. I, I thought he just missed a jump fireball. Yeah. He might have actually. He might have, and it, but still, Luigi almost made it back. Yeah. For how bad Luigi's recovery is, it's kind of good. It's good <laughs> distance wise. Yeah. But it's not too good it's when there's another wise. opponent on the screen. <laughs> we, like, if Mario's recovery is considered pretty exploitable, then I'm pretty sure Luigi's would be much worse. Because I feel like a lot of characters can exploit Mario's edge guards pretty well, and Mario's recovery pretty well, despite how good his distance is. Oh, you went off air, man. I'm telling you, you can do that against all the Mario Brothers. He's uh, covering so much space. And he can't up B. See, good awareness by Dunks staying on the invincibility platform so Freen can come and help him out. And they can do, sort out a game plan. I feel like you can see Dunks was talking to Freen during that. I think they're shine. I think they really shine when they have them at the side plats. Mm, this is bad. Yeah, that's not good. Luigi's split up is never good. Luigi, the Luigi's really need to take Mario's stock, and then honestly, Daniels could go down too, and the stock to be even. But now it's the, the gap is being extended. But yeah, this is what makes their this is what makes this character not that good in teams. Like um when they're both together when they're both together. Luigi has very good finishes in a very good combo game. But he just can't help his friend and he can't be helped. Yeah, for sure. Luigi isn't bad in teams, but double Luigi just doesn't have the tools that so many other teams do have. Yeah. They have Luigi one really Mario good tool. is a little better. Or at least bad one really good tool, but not, not well rounded. Whereas like Pikachu has everything. Yeah. I feel like Mario Luigi is like a little overrated, honestly, Bang Bros. I feel like they're good, but I feel like they're nothing compared to DPK. No. Um, this could happen, actually, again. It's up to free? Yep. Yeah. Um, with two stocks, this shifted so fast. Yeah, right? It was just because they started finding those Ooh. stocks on Daniels. All right, a One fresh, stock to one, one even percent. Freen's a favorite in this one for sure as well. But Cintos, he might clutch it out. It's that game three pressure though. Playing a worse character. One stock rule set, anything could happen. Okay. No, what? Did he accidentally double jump? I don't know what happened. There it is. Yeah, there it is. The Luigi. Free and clutching it out right there. Also, I love Free shirt. I just wanted to point that out. It has like the original artwork.